this is a deal where there's much demand because it's considered to be uh, the place to advertise for 13 to 18, and it's got one billion revenue going to two billion in a very short period of time. That's impressive. But as you talk about in real money, we still don't know if these ads are effective for no, brands. No, but see, the main thing that you need to know is that we won't know. And not knowing, just like whether we don't know whether there's going to be an infrastructure bill, we don't know whether there's going to be cat tax cuts, as long as you push it out, you can ride. You can ride it. Now, remember, um, Facebook, if you take a look, Facebook IPO, May 18, 38 bucks, went to 42 intraday. Uh, there was a high of spike at 45, came down to 38, and then not that long after went to 17, all right? Now that's because Facebook was hurt by the transition from desktop to mobile. And then they figured out mobile, and then it's been an earning story ever since. Twitter, on the other hand, uh, that is a company that went public. Uh, I mean, geez, Twitter was just a, such a botch. Twitter comes public at tw IPO 26, opens at 45, intraday high of 50, then goes to $74, and then the next thing you know, obviously you see what happened to Twitter. Now, Twitter and Facebook are much, much less cheap. They're much cheaper than, um, than Snap, but the problem is, as I pull my Snap, the problem is, is Snap has buzz, <laughs> and, and when, Snap, when something has buzz and you need a deal, and they give you, they give the institution some cheap stock at 17, they are going to find a way to go buy more stock in order to average up and have a good basis at the end of the day. And that's what's happened. 